Hey Capricorn, Kings, Queens, and everything in between. I am Austria of I'm Mother Queen. Today I will be channeling the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising, and Venus. Oh, and Mercury. <laughs> um, um, before I get started, um, I do have some messages. Um, so, um, I have you are on the right path. I also have that you guys are healing um, from something in regards to love. Um, possibly um, something to do with trust. And now possibly having a hands-off approach to how you deal with how people um, should love you. And some of you guys, I'm also um, was getting that having a hard time getting pregnant or wanting a baby. Um, some of you guys are um, dealing with like um, a situation with multiple miscarriages. I'm definitely so sorry about that. Um, yeah, okay, that's all I'm getting now. We have finances and career. Um, financial issues are affecting your love life right now. Um, we have that in the reverse. So I'm, I'm going to think that that isn't... Um, yeah, that isn't what you're experiencing right now. Um, you're not, I think that you guys came out of a financial situation. Like for a time it was really hard or it took you a lot to turn some shit around. Yeah, we have passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Getting a sense that you guys are one having a lot of sex but also being real passionate about a relationship um maybe from the past as well this is what i'm picking up for some of you guys um some of you guys i'm feeling like you're passionate about somebody that you're not in a current relationship with but you are in a relationship for some of you we also have engagement in the reverse it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment um i feel like some of you guys your person could um be the one that's dealing with someone in, in the past. Also getting a sense that like a, a breakup is coming or the end of a relationship is coming or something like that. Um, yeah, and then we have free yourself. It's time to take back um, control of your life. So it's possible that this was a union that you weren't really interested in in, in the first place. Um, in the present moment, you're being guided to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations it says honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay all right so i'm definitely getting a sense that wow got a lot happening here um no shade no tea but i'm just saying like um if this is you this sad you put in there don't nobody have time for that yeah see um tower moment aries energy here you guys had a massive change in the past. In the past, you guys had a massive change. And something was revealed. It also could be right now. Something's being revealed. Some of you guys could be going through this right now. Um, um, noticing, or not noticing, but um, recognizing a third-party situation or someone um, catching you in a third-party situation. But something is definitely becoming clear i'm i'm definitely hearing though that it is for your highest good um something like you weren't supposed to be with that person anyway or something like that for some of you okay so you can see it. okay thank you yeah we have the hanged man some of you guys could be dealing with the pisces here um you could be having this passionate relationship with this pisces like that's ppp at this point but um you're being guided um I think patience may be your issue. Some of you guys may be in a relationship with a Sagittarius though as well. I'm also getting that sense that healing may be your issue. This person, um, whoever this person is to you, if, if there's no even a third party and you're just going back and forth with one person, this person could have um, really hurt you bad in the past, causing you to be in a situation where you're needing to heal from. Yeah, sun card there. This is what you're not going to see coming. And it's like if you have patience with the matter and allow yourself to heal, you're going to be extremely happy. 
even if it's something that you don't necessarily think is positive at the, at the time or at the moment, you know? Yeah, we have judgment. The decision's already been made. This shit is, like I was saying before, this is divinely guided. So. Oh, what, what am I doing? <laughs> Goodness, I'm like, no. I also have the Empress card after I get that little full shuffle <laughs> at the bottom. Ten of Air. Yeah. You guys are really disappointed in something in the past. Um, could be dealing with the Gemini here. Um, but you guys are really disappointed with something in the past. Or you're being disappointed with something now dealing with a Gemini and an Aries. Like, those could be the other two people in that situation. Yeah, and you're deciding that you need to move forward. But also, it's like, that's the part where you need to free yourself. That was at the bottom of that love. That, like, free yourself from that situation. Yeah, two of water. You really, um, you really care about this person. You really care about this person. Regardless if it's um, the past person or the person that you're in a relationship with, you really care about them. And you don't want to just leave. Yeah, you don't you, you don't want to stop something that will, that is stable. Could be dealing with the Virgo here. But that is your energy. Like you, it's like you don't you don't want to be flaky, is what I'm hearing. Four of water. You take in a lot of time to to think about this one, and also it's like you've pushed this shit away for a very long time. To want to like leave and not deal with this shit no more. Like, and when I say not deal with this shit, not saying it's a fucked up relationship, but saying like you you were trying to leave the past in the past. Yeah, but it's like you want to so bad to talk to this person. Um, Messenger of Fire, that's the Page of Wands. You want so bad to talk to this person. You want so bad to move forward with this person. You just don't really know. It's like um, you're so unsure of it, though. So it's like you you almost don't want to go forward because you're so sure. You're so unsure of that path moving forward. You guys could have been dealing with the Leo. Yeah. See, we have patience again. With um, that. I'm so sorry. So we have patience again. We have temperance again. Um, with um, that Sagittarius energy. Definitely give me the sense you definitely need to heal after this situation. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, like I was saying before, I felt like this person could have hurt you in the past. Also, it's like this person, you, you feel deeply that this person is your soulmate. We have the chariot again. This came out in the pre-show, that's what I said again. But um, that is Cancer's energy. Some of you guys are waiting for this person to come towards you. You're kind of just sitting still and like not really making um, a decision or making a move. Nine of Swords. But you think about this person a lot. This could also be your person's energy here. That they, they think about you a lot. Yeah, they, they regret how they treated you. Five of Cups energy. They regret what they did. I also have a sense that you, some of you guys are, are up late at night because you don't want to leave your current person and you are kind of regretting it. Like you don't you don't want to you don't want to end this cycle with the world. You don't you don't want to stop. You don't want to leave this because it's like this person has never done anything to you. Some of you guys are even um, feeling like that. It's like this that this situation you feel like it's possibly toxic, the old situation that you dealt with, but it was so it was also so passionate. And <laughs> you guys are like, I want door number two, Alex. Yeah, see look. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Aquarius 
Libra, Gemini here. Definitely, for sure, for sure. We have the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah, you guys are resting on this decision. It's like you you have clarity about what you want to do, but you know some shit's going to come out when you do this. It's not going to be easy. Um, you're kind of, you know, kind of sleeping on it, thinking about what you want to do. I also feel like you guys are um, sharing dreams with your person. Um, your soul, that soulmate energy, you're sharing dreams with that person, um, meeting each other in the 5D. And I'm also getting the sense that some of you guys, depending on where you are in the timeline, you're just constantly thinking about how much you want this person or what your life would be like once, like once you were with this person. Yeah, seven of wands at the in the in the reverse here. It's like you guys definitely are struggling to, with this decision. We have the Four of Cups again. You guys are definitely a struck, um, and I just saw 11, 11 on the clock, but you guys are definitely struggling with this decision here. Definitely. It's like you don't want to hurt anyone. And that's your biggest issue, that you don't want to hurt anyone. We have legal, court, paperwork, filed. Some of you guys could be... Um, could be married others you could have children um, with the other person or children with your person now wish hoping praying yearning yeah that's back to what I was saying over here like definitely a sense of possibly dreaming about this person thinking about this person an awful lot insatiable mm. unquenchable wanting more what did I just say? Like, you lay in the bed thinking about your life. Like, what it would be. Like, see, karmic third-party relationship lesson. For some of you guys, I didn't get this sense. But for some of you guys, the person that you're not in the relationship with and that you, you're feeling that level of passion for, that is your karmic. I wasn't feeling that, though, here. Um, but it's for a small few. You, you guys definitely discern that. <laughs> Alright. I'm also getting a sense of like, um, it's almost like you go back and forth with which decision is right. Like, I know I just said you guys are struggling with it. When I say go back and forth with which decision that was right, I feel like someone needs to hear this. You guys have a pros and cons list of, this, of these two individuals. Okay. Yeah, 28, expectation. Yeah, again, that's 2 and 8, that's the 10. You guys are definitely wanting to bring something um, to an end, especially if it's um, something legal, like if you're trying to step away from a person and they are doing all this legal shit to make you stay. We also have Wish, um, and it's like for some of you, again, this is 10. Like I said, you guys are wanting to end and complete um, a union. Some of you guys are ending, um, you're going to step away from this, this, this person that you're so passionate about. The pro and con list is not going to... Um, it's not going to work out for you. Like, uh, I don't know how to say it in a better way. Uh, let's see. They're not going to measure up. There we go. All right. So, we have um, 17, a gift. Some of you guys are going to step out with this person. Um, I'm also getting the sense that this could possibly break your trust. Or if you're engaged, this person is ending your engagement. Um, or it's definitely going to mess up um, your high... Um, High level commitment there yeah adjudication we have legal again some of you guys are going to end up especially if you're already married you're going to end up in a battle with this person that that feels like you hurt them or did them wrong all right oh wait oh wait no this isn't in the next spirit is like listen <laughs> 
Okay. Look, this is what this is the right deck, you guys. All right, let's see. Okay. Yeah, wait. Okay. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Closure issues. Like, it's going to be a wrap. You guys are going to be able to move forward. You guys are going to be able to move forward from this legal shit. And also, it's like, some of you are going through this right now, and you're just being guided to know that it's, it's, it's going to be ending quickly. It's not going to take as long as you think it's going to take. Okay. So, 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 so. What else? We have to go with the snake with coffin and wish. Rip. Oh, it's two cards. Wait. Okay. So, like I was saying before, because I, it's so funny. You guys are deciding to step away from that self-indulgent behavior. Some of you, others, like I said before, you guys are going to. Um, and cheat with this person with this past person and also this could be your your person is you know like i said in the um in the beginning this could be your person doing this we have focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation you guys like i said before like you guys are going to be doing a lot of healing here because of this situation like I said, this person could have possibly hurt you in the past, and that's what you're doing. You're not even in a relationship with anyone else. You're just um, trying to heal yourself. We have a girl with the snake, empath, a narcissist, um, paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Yeah, that other person, that real passionate person, that person could po that could possibly be a karmic. That's that energy that you're um that that person's given some of you guys i'm definitely also sensing like a possible pregnancy with this person or um finding out that you are pregnant or your person is pregnant stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack isn't that what i just said like something's gonna happen like that's going to end this engagement here or in this high level commitment and your person's definitely gonna feel this type of way the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life what did i just freaking say y'all oh we advice from spirit please capricorn sun moon rising thank you Two new beginning a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately when i tell you Spirit is not freaking playing with you guys today. All right, let's get some possible signs that you guys could be dealing with here. Okay, Spirit is saying. Okay. I, I forgot to. <laughs> Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Mm. I'm really, when I see that, I'm really getting that sense of, yeah, it's transforming, all right. Meaning, like, um, like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the baby aspect of transformation, not, not necessarily, like, the relationship. Like, every transformation isn't good. Like, some of you guys are going through that. I, I don't think that it's all, though, but it's definitely some of you guys are definitely thinking about stepping out. It says, I meant... I meant what I said. Definitely getting this sense that this could possibly be your person. Like your person promised you something. So I'm here. If I follow you, I could lose everything. This is your energy. Remember, we had that five of pentacles pop out. Like that's what I'm hearing. And we already have two fives right here as well. Like those fives, that's always like huge change. Like granted, like I said, from the jump, this is for your highest good. I left because you told me to. I feel like this person that's coming back, it's possibly that it's possible that you guys push them away, but um, I don't feel like that's necessarily your problem. Like because if someone cares about you, says I'm too afraid to talk to you or talk on the bottom. Someone cares, they're supposed to still, you know, attempt to see what's going on with you. 
and I feel like as I say that I'm hearing this <laughs> um a spirit telling me that's some toxic ass shit but I mean I'm just saying what I'm saying because that's the energy that I'm feeling like that's what you expect expect it at least you expected them to come back around but they didn't and then you were like oh well maybe they just didn't care about me like they said they did then. We have Pluto, Scorpio energy there. We have Pisces energy. We definitely have that. Alright, and then we have Cancer have that too. Alright, um, and we also have water <laughs> just to confirm. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign or someone that has water um, in those places that I said in the beginning. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Capricorn. Um, thank you. Excuse me. Thank you for all of your um, support. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.